All right, boys and girls, this week we are focusing on learning all about feelings and emotions. And a lot of the time, something helps us feel a certain type of way. So you might see your mom or your dad and be so happy because you missed them. Or you might hurt your elbow and feel really sad. Or somebody accidentally pushed you and it made you angry. Right? Show me your angry face. Very good. But today we're going to read a story all about the feeling of sad. Can you show me a sad face? Yeah, I have a friend who is a squirrel and he feels a little bit sad because summer is over and the season is changing and the flowers are not going to be as pretty. They're going to go away for a while. So he's feeling really sad about that. So for this book, I want you to listen for how he handles his sadness. Does he stay sad forever or what does he do to feel better? Let's listen. A Sad Squirrel by Jenna Laffin, illustrated by Brian Hartley, music arranged and produced by Mark Oblinger. So here is our sad squirrel friend. Can you look like him? Your, your shoulders are shrugged over and you're just, yeah, it's a sad squirrel. Let's find out why he's sad. Sometimes we get sad when things change. It's okay to feel that way. It's okay to be sad when something you like goes away. Just remember, there is always something new around the corner. Turn the page to see how Crow cheers up Squirrel. Remember to sing along. So our squirrel friend is sad right now, but it looks like we're gonna have a friend come along to make him feel better. Sad little squirrel sat in a tree, crying and sighing, unhappy as could be. Then Crow flew by and asked, Squirrel, why do you frown? Because summer is gone. Sad little squirrel said crow, don't be blue, the seasons change, it's time for something new. All right, so we have found out that our squirrel is just devastated, that the season is changing and that the flowers have gone away and it's really cold outside. But our crow friend says, hey, don't be so blue. The seasons change and it's time for something new. So what do you think the something new is? What do you think is coming for the squirrel? Maybe, let's find out. Don't you love the snow squirrel? In moonlight on the ice. In snowflakes and presents. Winter time is quite nice. The flowers are now sleeping. But when the winter's through, springtime comes creeping back. It's time for something new. Sad little squirrel said crow. Seasons change, it's time for something new. Then Squirrel began to smile and dance in the sun. I was sad for a while, but now I'm glad. Look what's to come. All right, so our squirrel was super sad when it was winter and cold outside. But what happened? What, what came back? 
Exactly, this warm weather with the sun and look, the flowers are even growing back. So now the squirrel is starting to feel what? Happy, yes. The seasons change. I won't feel blue. I'll tell my friends when I feel sad and wait for something new. So remember Happy Squirrel and don't feel blue. The seasons change and feelings change. It's time for something new. The and let's give the squirrel a round of applause. Awesome. So in that story, it is important to remember that you will not feel sad forever. Was the squirrel just sad whenever the season changed forever? No, he became happy again by the end of the story because the sun came back out and flowers were growing again. So just remember, when you feel sad, you can do things that help you feel better because you know you don't have to be sad forever right all right so now miss Walashik wants to know so she can avoid it what is one thing that makes you sad and how do you feel better from it what is one thing that makes you sad and what makes you feel better about it 